I just want to thank you guys for coming back to um, Gospel Nova Scotia and uh, just for joining us for a, a, a word of encouragement. And I have here today with me Pastor Robert Hamlin. And uh, you, if you've seen our show with Arlene, uh, that's his daughter, Arlene Marchand, married to Mark. And uh, Pastor... Uh, Pastor Hamlin has had uh, various pastorates right here in Nova Scotia and in Newfoundland. He's got his papers both with the PAOC and the PAON over the years. And uh, he just felt inspired today. We were talking last uh, last time when he was here. And if you've seen our show, you've seen him, you've heard him singing. Um, and you're going to hear him again. We have an Easter show coming up an Easter special, and uh, he is going to be singing on that. He Actually, his son, Lorne, was supposed to. We had them all scheduled to come, and my wife and I were just totally sick, and and, uh, I just so apologized to Lorne. He came ready to sing, (laughs) and I felt so bad, but we were so ill. We just caught that flu, my wife and I, and we were just out of it for over a month. So uh, next time he's in town, he knows he has an open invitation to come here and sing, and we might even... Get a duet out of him and his dad, and uh, that would just be a real treasure. So, uh, yeah, Pastor Hamlin's had uh, various pastorates in Nova Scotia and in Newfoundland, and uh, we just wanted to give him some time to share some encouragement uh, with us, and just wherever the Spirit of God leads, that's what we want. You know, we're hungry for that. And uh, he's got a word he wants to share with us today. Pastor Hammond, can you tell us a little bit about, before you start into um, the word you're going to share today, how you ever ended up in the ministry? Was this just, where did that call start in your life, or where did you feel that? Well, uh, I gave my heart to the Lord at the age of 13. Yes. May 88 on Mother's Day, 1955. Wow. And... I felt the call of God from, I guess, that day. Wow. Because just eight days after that, God baptized me with the Holy Spirit. Whoa. And I felt the call of God all my life. Mm. But it was some years, another 13 years later before yeah. I yielded to the call of God. And and uh, I've been pastoring and preaching for going on 55 years. Wow. And wow. still doing it with the opportunities that come my way. <laughs> yeah, and we want to let you know, too, at the end of this show, <clears throat> we'll have Pastor Hamlin's uh, information just right below, um, you know, the, the 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 show. You'll see a link where, uh, where you can get in touch with him if you'd like him to share at your church or your fellowship, your men's meeting or whatever it might be. Uh, you can get directly in touch with him, <clears throat> and he knows if for some reason you... You contact us concerning him, we'll just pass that right along to him. So uh, his his uh, he was just telling me he's got invited all over the place recently. And, uh, you know, to God be the glory for that. He's just spreading his word uh, and, and using uh, this brother and many others to do that through. So we thank God that he's here today. And Pastor, you go right ahead and share with us what it is you feel you need to share. Well, since you've asked me to share, Mm. and uh, I've been thinking, meditating, reading the Word, and I thought about how much encouragement the people of God need today. Mm. And when it comes to the Word of God, I find so many promises Mm. that we can trust. Mm. And uh, when I look at the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20, it tells me, for all the promises of God mm-hmm. in him are yea and amen. Amen. Not just some, but all the promises of God. Mm. And I have promise boxes home that are full of promises. Mm. And uh, every now and then I draw one. And uh, uh, well over 60 years ago, God gave me his promise. And that's one of the reasons I'm here today. Amen. Because I think when God gives his promise to some person in the Bible, he can give the same promise to us today. Yeah. And feeling the call of God, he said, certainly I'll be with you. Yes. 
And that's why I'm here today. And still depending on the promise of God Mm. and feel I want to share to the people of God that there are so many promises that we can depend upon Mm. because they are yea and they are amen. Amen. But uh, it's all to the glory of God. Amen. And that's what's important. Mm. And it's to the glory of God by us. Mm. That's what the writer was saying in Corinthians. And I believe the same thing today. Yeah. I think of the golden text of the Bible. Yeah. John chapter 3 and verse 16. Mm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him yes. should not perish but have everlasting life. What a promise. Yes. That we could have everlasting life, eternal life. Mm. I enjoy life. I've enjoyed life. But the life that I really enjoy is the life that Jesus has given me through his word. Amen. And that's one of the biggest reasons I'm here today. Yeah. Because of the word of God. I got it into my heart. Yeah. And I'm still getting it into my heart and I want to share what God's word says. Yes. One thing I've discovered that we can trust the promise of God. Mm. Because Titus tells us in two and one that God cannot lie. Amen. And uh, we know we live in a world where there's a lot of things told that is not the truth. (laughs) And there's only one thing that's going to set people free from their fears, their turmoil, and their strife, and that is the truth of God's Word. Yes, amen. And that's what we're going to give the peace of God's Word. Yes. So it is not the promise of man. Yeah. It's the promise of God. Amen. And Numbers tells us that God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. That's right. So we're not talking about some other small God. We're talking about the God who is Yahweh, and he is Jehovah. Yes. Jehovah. Yes. And there are seven compound names of Jehovah. I'm not going to get into them today because it would take quite a time. Yeah. But the word of God, God's word, is full of promises that gives hope. Yes. And we see today that there's not much promise of hope. Mm. All we can see is distress, turmoil, and very little peace. Yeah. But the promise of God gives hope and peace, even in this present world. Yes, amen. And the promise of God, the Bible, is so full of them. Yeah. To think of it, I'm told that there are 365 fear knots in the Bible. Wow. Oh, really? That's what I'm told. Wow. And you go right back in the Old Testament, God says, fear not. Yeah. And uh, so that's one for every day in the year. That's one for every day. And some of them are good enough for a full week, so that can take in leap year. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So in a world of fear and turmoil, Jesus said, peace I leave with you. Yes. My peace I give unto you. Yeah. Not like the world gives, a peace that can only last two or three days. And mm. I think about all the peace treaties that have been uh, put together in the world, and they haven't last. And in a world with all these uh, lessons and books and everything, there's less peace today than ever was. Mm. But thank God, every individual can have the peace of God. And when Jesus said, I'm going to leave it with you, and not like the world gives, give I unto you. Mm. And uh, when I think of it, and he said, let not your heart be troubled. John chapter 14, verse 1. And he says, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe in Jehovah, believe also in me. Yeah. He was talking to his people, the Israelites. Yeah. And they believed in Jehovah. Yeah. Now he said, if you believe in Jehovah, you can believe in me. Yeah. And I want to say today that you can believe in the words of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You can do it. Yes. Because he is God's son. Yeah. And his word never, never fails. Yeah. So he says, let not your heart be troubled. Jesus said, and I often think about the scripture in the Bible, when they came to Jesus and they said, if. And Jesus put the word if back to them. And he said, if you believe, I will do. Yes. Just think of that. Yeah. We got a lot of people make promises today. We've been so disappointed over the promises because they could not keep them. Mm. But one thing about God's promises, he can keep them. Yes. Amen. Amen. No matter what the situation, no matter what the problem, Jesus can keep his promises. Mm. He said he was going to go away. Mm. 
He'd been a comforter to a lot of people. He healed their sick. He raised their dead. He, he stopped the storm. Mm. And he'd been such a comforter. But he said, I'm going away, and I will send you another comforter. Yes, amen. And thank God we know the comforter has come. Oh, yeah. We thank God for that day, yes. the day of Pentecost. Yes. The Holy Ghost came down, empowered the disciples, filled them, charged them, and they went out in the power of the Spirit, preached the word, and souls were saved. Yeah, amen. Now, we have his promises today. You can take away the fear of sickness. Yeah. When I think of it, how much fear there's put out today and people that are afraid of this, afraid of sickness, afraid they're going to lose their job, afraid of this and afraid of so many things, yeah. afraid of failure. But if you trust in his promise, yeah. in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. Lean not unto your own understanding. Yeah. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Yes. I once heard a person say, why don't you look up the Bible sometime and see all the shall nots? Yeah. Amen? <laughs> There's so many scriptures in yeah. there and promises yeah. that God says, shall not, shall not, you shall not fear. And he yeah. said, if you trust him yeah. and put your trust in him and lean not unto your understanding yeah. and in all your ways, yeah. that's important. He's going to direct your paths. Yeah. And we know we need someone to direct our past today. Oh, well, I, I'd like to say something here for a moment. Uh, when Pastor Hamlin's speaking here, he had mentioned to me, it was a few weeks back, um, that neither he nor his wife take any medicines. Amen. They don't take any medicines at their age. And uh, their health has just been kept by the Lord. Amen. And I mean, they live... They, they eat right, they do, but even if you eat right, it doesn't matter. I know folks who have eaten right and have had terrible things happen still. But this isn't just this isn't just self-control that he's, this is God. This is the Lord keeping him and his wife. So when he's talking about uh, the promises of God at work in his life, it's not just talk. He's seeing results. And so I just wanted to throw that in and let them know. How real of a thing that is, even in your own life. Well, I thank God for health and strength every day. Amen. I thank him for his blessing. Yeah. And uh, I really thank him. And uh, I do things that I feel is right to do. Yeah. But it's still up to him. And I believe that when you honor your father and your mother, you got to promise your day is going to be long. Amen. And uh, we've done that. Yes. And I believe that's one of the reasons. Yeah. And I believe that I got the word into my heart. Yeah. And that word, if I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against him. Yeah. And because sin takes your takes its toll on your body, your soul, and your spirit. Yes. But I have the promise of God that if I get the word in, amen. Yeah. Yeah, amen. And a holy life. And a Just holy what life. you said. And the holiness has not been my holiness. No. The righteousness has not been mine. Yeah. It has been the righteousness that I put on from yes. Jesus Amen. through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen? Yes. So that's what's important. Yeah. And uh, I've been told, and you better be careful. You better take this. You better yeah. take that. Yeah. But I believe with the Word of God in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. Yeah. God hath not given us a spirit, spirit of, fear, of fear, amen. But of love yeah. and power yes. and a sound mind. Yes. Because that's one thing yeah. where the devil today is working on the oh, mind of yes. people. Yeah. And brother or sister or person in Christ today, don't let him rob your peace yeah. and rob your joy yeah. and rob your health. Yes, amen. You trust in his word. Yes. He has not given us, but he has given us power and of a sound mind. Yes. And that's yeah. where the greatest battle oh, yes. feel is today Mental in health. the mind of man. Oh, it's true. And that's why we get to get our minds stayed among the Lord. Yes. And the psalmist that so many people like, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, yes. Psalm 91. Yes. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High yes. shall abide under, under the, the shadow, shadow of, of the, the Almighty. Almighty. And before... The devil or anything gets at the person that loves Jesus. Amen. He got to go through God first. Yes. And I believe that. Amen. And we can still stand on that promise today. <laughs> That's a powerful Amen. word. Amen. So 
in all your ways acknowledge him. Yeah. And I think of two of the last promises Jesus gave before he went back to heaven. Yeah. He said, lo, I am with you oh, always. Amen. I don't know why the has is left on, yeah. but I think he's an ever-present help in trouble. Yeah. In the world today of all the trouble, he promised he'd be with us. Yeah. And if he's with us, we don't have a thing to fear. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes. Don't have one thing to fear. Yes. And then the other wonderful promise is that he said, I'm going away, mm. but I will come again. Yes. And that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Amen. And I believe it's just around the corner. Yes. When we look at the situation in this world mm. that can bring so much devastation and the devastation that's taking place in the world right now to know that he's coming again. Yes. And he said when he comes again, he's going to take us to be with himself. Amen. Amen. Yes. And he said, in my father's house are many mansions. Yeah. And if it were not so, I would have told you. Yes. They're already there. Yeah. And I got a lot to say on that, but I won't <laughs> say it now. But I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. Hey, Amen. He is preparing a place. Yes. And that's going to be a place, no sickness, no death, no crying, yeah. no tears. Yeah. And that's the promise of the word. And you can depend on the promise of God because they're yea and amen yeah. to all of us. Now, I got a question for you, Pastor. Um, this hunger that you had, you mentioned it, that, that you had for God's word. Now, somebody starting out that just found the Lord, what do you give them as advice to start getting that word in them? What, 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 what helps? What, would, what advice would you give to someone say, listen, I so struggle to read and, and find interest in the Bible, especially, let's say, parts of the Old Testament that they find hard to read. What, what's your advice to them to give them help and encouragement to start into nurturing that reading of, of God's Word and getting it into them? When it comes to the Word, you must have the Word into you. Mm. And I started reading the Bible in day school yeah. when I could have probably been, should have been studying for exams. <laughs> and one of the outstanding books yeah. to me is the book of Proverbs. Yeah. If you want to save your, if you're a young person and you want to save yourself from a lot of snares and a lot of problems, yeah. read the book of Proverbs and listen to what it says and obey it. Yes. And you will save yourself from a lot. Yes. But when it comes to reading the Old Testament, yeah. uh, there's a lot of things in the Old Testament. And I heard someone say the other day, wait until you get in the word from John's gospel, read the four, four gospels, and you'll find out what kind of person Jesus is. Yeah. And when Jesus came, he made real who God really was. Yes. Because people want to know who God is. Yes. Who are you talking about? Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, yeah. and you'll find out what God is really like. Yes. Amen. And when you get that word into you, yeah. you say, yeah, but I forget. Well, put it back there. Yeah. Put it back there every day. Put it in there. Yeah. And when the time comes, Jesus promised he'd bring it to your memory. Yes. In every situation, Amen. he'll bring back the word to you. Amen. And that's what it kept me. Mm. And that's why I'm here today. Yeah. Because I got the word in me. Yeah. And I'm still putting it there. Yes. And that's why I still enjoy sharing it. When you talked a minute ago, you talked about the promises of God. I've heard people say that they read something in the Bible and it pop pops off the page to them, comes alive to them. Pastor, what do they mean? What's happening when that happens? Well, I've had so many experiences in all these years <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that so much have popped out of the page. Yeah, That is the Holy Spirit yeah. wanting to make that word real to you. Okay, And he is the one that can do it. Yes. Because when I tell people about understanding the word, and if you read a book, First, they tell you about the author. Okay, yes. Right? Yes. And to understand the author, sometimes you'll understand his book. Yes. Good. And the author of this book, the Bible, yeah. the Word of God, is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And that's the one that can make it real. Yes. So if your heart is open to the truth of God's Word, yeah. you read it with a hope and heart, yeah. and the Holy Spirit will pop it off that page to yeah. you, yes. and you'll never forget it. Yes. But if you read it as another book... Yeah. And want to get through as fast as you can. Yes. I read, I went home one night when the pastor mentioned about the book of Revelation. I read 15 chapters. Yeah. <laughs> I never read, remembered half I read. 
And I yeah. preached over the years on the seven churches yeah. at one time. But now I could probably preach seven messages on one church. Yeah. Because God over the years is still filling my heart with his word yes. as I keep reading it. Amen. And that's what happens. Yeah. It pops off the page. Pops off and the, the page. Ho Holy Spirit. Yes. What I feel right now. Yes. The Holy Spirit just makes it real. Yes. And when he makes it real, yeah. you'll never forget it. Amen. I'll tell you that. Amen. And let him have his way in your life today. Yeah. Because he's the one. Yeah. He's the author of the book. Yes. And he knows. Yeah. He's a comforter. Yes. And we thank God for that today. Amen. That's a powerful word. Um, uh, Pastor Hammond, I think he's going to share us, with us a song. Yes. Now. And uh, so again, uh, if you felt this was encouraging, um, get in touch with them. I have you written some books, Pastor? Do you have media like that that you? No. Okay, but there's messages. I'm sure that could be found. I have lots of messages. Lots of messages. So there's things online too that you can see about them. And uh, again, just get in touch with them at that email down below if you would like to have them at your church or at your fellowship to share. Anyway, he doesn't just share the word of God. He also sings and is is just got a beautiful voice. And he's going to take a minute here and uh, sing something for us when you're ready, Pastor. I love this little song. There's a lot of things we don't understand. Mm. And some people say, well, we shouldn't say why. Mm. Now, don't get under condemnation if you've been saying why. Right. Because I found out from the word that yeah. Jesus was on the cross and he said to his father, why right. hast thou forsaken me? Yes, that's true. So, <laughs> and I don't think he condemns us for asking him why. Yes. And there's things we don't understand. But this little song might, might help you a little bit. <clears throat> Life is like a mighty sea so tossed and driven. Billows rise within the heart of every man. Storms so many times will leave the heart with questions. But you don't need to understand. Just hold his hand. I don't need to understand. I just need to hold his hand. I don't ever need to ask the reason why, for I know he'll make a way through the night and through the day. I don't need to understand. I just need to hold his hand. There's a wonderful hope. When my life down here is through and Jesus calls me to my home so fair upon the golden shore, I'll look back, review the path that lay before me, then I won't care to understand anymore. You don't need to understand, you just need to hold his hand. You don't ever need to ask the reason why. For you'll know he'll make a way through the night and through the day. You don't need to understand. You just need to hold his hand. Amen. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing the word. Thank you for sharing in song today about the promises of God and how they're yes and amen in Christ Jesus and how studying that word is fruitful. 
if you choose and you put yourself under that to, to start reading the word, it will have an impact on your life. It will give you answers. It will give you hope and not false hopes and not things that don't work, but true hope and answers for your life and your situations every single day. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, we just look forward to seeing you again next time. And again, um, thank you very much, Pastor Hamlin. Thank you so much for sharing your gift that God has given you. And so God bless you guys. Have a great God bless. Amen.